I would like to find out if a property management company, so I'm assuming like a managing agent, not mm. sure, can add interest on acknowledged debt. For example, uh, signed AOD for X amount, started paying X amount, yet next statement reflects interest on outstanding debt that has been acknowledged and is in process of being paid. And sadly, it's very, very legal. The, the truth is an acknowledgement of debt doesn't change the existence of the debt and it definitely does not change the interest component. Actually, it does. It doesn't take the interest component away. It solidifies your interest component. If your AOD says that this is the amount that's due and you will pay it in these installments and there will be no interest charge, then most definitely um, interest cannot be charged. I must say, I have only done in my entire career, I think maybe two AODs, which did not include an interest component, uh, simply because that was the, the only way we could come to an agreement is where the parties are set on no interest. And it's a, it's a weird thing. Um, it's not illegal not to charge interest, but you will see interest, um, interest being dealt with in an AOD much more often than what you would see um, an AOD not having an interest component. If your AOD is a little oversimplified, now if you say uh, property management company, managing agent, whatever the case might be, the chances that they're going to have a very simplified AOD is a little few and far between. It will probably be a standardized document um, drafted by uh, typically the likes of Bruno and myself. And it will most definitely have a clause that deals with interest, legal costs, and all the other costs that gets added onto this debt. Because remember, by the time you sign an AOD, there is an, a debt that already went through a few phases to get to the point of signing an AOD. And what I mean by through a few phases is this debt has not been paid. Somebody had to issue a letter of demand or at least pick up the phone to say, listen, oh, you really need to pay this debt. And that gave rose to this AOD. If it was a letter of demand and the letter of demand says we will from this day charge X percent interest or murder interest or whatever the case might be, even if the AOD is then silent on the interest, we can, in terms of the NCA, what is the deal with the NCA today, Bruno? It feels like a theme for the day. And I am not as comfortable with the NCA. I said this to you as well, Bruno, as I am with the CPA and PI and those guys. But uh, so correct me if I'm wrong. But um, if you have a letter of demand and on the back of that, you do a simple AOD, which is silent on the interest component, you are allowed to charge the interest as per your letter of the month. Am I right? I look right. You're giving me a nod. Yeah, I'm so proud of myself. Um, so then you will be able to charge that interest. However, if your AOD specifically mentions interest at a specific interest rate, be it different from the letter of the month, it doesn't matter. That is what the parties now agree to. So sadly, I would say, um, I would be surprised to see an AOD with, that does not deal with interest, very much legal. And this is where the legal principle of caveat subscriptor steps in. The caveat subscriptor says that you need to be very cautious when you enter into an agreement. An AOD is an agreement of, of sorts. It's a very specific type of agreement. And I would most definitely say um, uh, be very careful because when you enter into an AOD, when you sign an AOD and you did not read all the terms of the AOD, it could end up um, biting you badly uh, in the sense that if there was an high, a higher interest component or an adjustable interest component, for instance, um, a, a, a typical uh, 
X banks interest rate plus 3% or something like that. And at the rate that we're seeing interest rate hikes now, which by the way, remember Bruno and I predicted this from 2020, not because we were very clever. It was the obvious thing that had to happen. But um, that could be uh, massively surprising at this stage. Also, um, if your interest is, if it's silent on interest, please don't assume that the parties agree that there won't be interest you can either fall back on your, um, uh, it, it, it was a sectional title levy situation from, from what I understand from the question. So your conduct rules will deal with that. Later of the month can deal with that. Interest will be dealt with somewhere in a document. Um, so most definitely that interest would be allowed. Only exception would be if the AOD says the parties agree that there will no, be no interest charged on the uh, capital amount. And that's the only, only situation. So go back to the document and, um, and just have a look at what's happening there. If it is silent, uh, if it is silent, go back to the previous documents. If it says you're not allowed to charge interest, send a copy to the managing agent, circle that and say, and this now, and they'll, they'll have to explain that, but it's, mm. it's unfortunately unlikely. 